Our friend Sarah gave us this little spoon. <laughs> Which is perfect for little drops. <laughs> yeah, Sarah lives in New Zealand. Hi, I'm Phil. I'm Deepa. And you join us in another round of blind tasting. I was thinking of something. Uh, where are my little notes? When we're drinking these whiskies, I thought there's two types of expense or cost. And the first question that we have always had is, is the taste or the taste experience worth the cost of the health? Meaning there's a health cost every time you drink some alcohol. Obviously, if you drink a lot, there's a big cost. So the taste has to be good enough for that. And then the next question is, is the taste worth the financial cost? <laughs> health first, it's got to be worth it. And then can you afford it? Is it worth it that way? And if those two things are yes, then you can buy another bottle. <laughs> and with that in mind, we do keep track of how much we're drinking. And I just checked. It's actually a spreadsheet that lists all the bottles and where we are. And because when we first started, we drank a lot at the beginning, our units per week were something like 24 each, which is way too high. What's the recommendation? 14? Uh, we're actually down to about 15 at this point, but we must be well below that for the average to be dropping. But I did work it out and measured out this amount of water. And so, on average, that's how much we drink between us per day. Per day? Yeah. Does that seem like a lot to you or a little? Yeah, it seems like a lot to me. Like half each? But it would be the two of us. Yeah. Or oh, that's not bad. But of course, we don't drink every day, every other day or less, so we're drinking more. But at the moment, we're drinking even less than that. Anyway, I thought it was interesting just to see it. It doesn't know. Every week that we reveal one of these bottles, it means we have a new bottle available for a new whiskey. And the one that has gone in this week is an interesting Port Charlotte. It is heavily peated, but it's the MRC 01 2010. And which way is the front? Let's do it like that. And um, even when I was pouring it into the blind bottle, I could get wafts of notes coming out of it. And I was, I was trying to keep away so that I wouldn't smell it because there's a kind of wine and things mixed in here as well. Uh, $123 at our local bitters and bottles. Okay, let's go on to our three bottles. This one we've called White Wine and Plasticine. Plasticine is a note that I give quite a bit when there's peat involved, and there is peat involved in this one. Herbal watercolour, <laughs> and pepper in the sponge cake, which is the latest. And I think we're going to start in the middle. At the uh, ABV. Oh yeah, they're all below 48. We'll start here and we'll finish on peat, mm. just so that it doesn't get in the way. They've been sitting in the glasses a while. Oh, uh, we didn't do this though. Ooh, that is nice. Watercolor, the name watercolor suggests it's very light, but it's not light. It is herbal watercolor, but it's, it's sherry as well, I think. There's no peat or smoke or even barrel char in that one, I don't think. It's very soft. Soft? I don't know, it's got a bit of a kick to it. Salty grassy oil was one of the notes that we had. But the, I'm getting a beautiful smell. But the only glass. Oh, what type of smells? Um, perfume. Perfumey? Flowery herbs. Yeah, this is slightly more tobacco herbs, isn't it, in the empty glass? And then the full glass. It is perfumey. Slightly flowery, bit parma violet sweeties. 
I'm getting the oil. It's coming through. It's for a bit of oil. Oil? And then we get peppery. It's better. And up to up. Mm. That is by savory. Yeah, it is like a fine oil infused with peppery herbs. Mm. Peppery, herb, uh, spicy. But overall, it's, it's soft, it's tender. I don't know, I think there's a bit more bite to it than soft and gentle. It's not like a, a light, weak, space side mm -hmm. kind of flavor. So there's quite a bit and it's... It's for it. Yeah. Pepper in the sponge cake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That is, compared to this, this is sort of, this is towards the orange tiramisu kind of side of things. Big vanilla. Hmm, try, try the empty glass. That was actually quite a surprise going from this one. No. Vanilla, fluffy yeah. vanilla, and the spatsky then fluffy Fluffy. <laughs> it's almost like vanilla powder in the air, uh, yeah. isn't it, kind of thing. <laughs> Now we've got, again, these two, no peat, no barrel char, no sulfur in either of these, they're super clean. In the, in the glass, I'm getting high spices. A bit less intense than this one. Pepper in the sponge cake. That does, that's a pretty good description because it, there is all this sort of cakey vanilla notes and it is like fine pieces of pepper in the sponge as you're going through it. The smell was sweet, mm. but the day is not that sweet. Actually, it's a bit biting. We've got licorice mm. as well. There used to be a little tiny sweet called imps, which was a very intense licorice spiciness. Was it licorice? I think so. Like vulcanized licorice they were. And then more up in the dish that the smell. That was party. Mm. Yeah, it's not as intense as those imps. Maybe it's softened sitting in the bottle for a little while since our first taste, but there is a little bit of, there is a bit of a bite to the licorice though. Now I'm getting a toffee finish. Yeah, it's just a hint. Slight toffee, chocolatey, vapory kind of finish. And this is a bit musty in this empty glass now. Let's compare these two. Mm -hmm. A bit musty as well. A bit more musty. They're quite an interesting pairing, aren't they? So this is quite different. Whoa! <laughs> I think we... I think we might need to concentrate on these first before we even taste that because that is, um, tastes ah, like beautiful classic. Peat. I presume this is Isla, yeah. Isla Pete. I think I called this one out last week as potentially Lagavulin, but I haven't tasted yet. But that it's that white wine plasticine. It's somewhere along that line. I'm going to add back. Could be. Yeah, white wine, fruity, and this really nice ashy finish. What are you getting? I'm not getting any sweet flavors, but mostly herbs. No? I'm, the peat seems sweet to me. Let's okay, on the nose. Let's go nose first. We kind of jumped ahead a bit. What'd you I'm get? I'm getting bear, bear not. It's a very bad food. It's got me up. I've definitely got the plasticine thing going on. Which is a you know slightly chemical oil, oily chemical. It's very subtle strawberry candy. And more a bit more, a little bit banana on the full one. Very cereal. Oh yeah, it's maybe it's more cereal than banana, but you know it's cereal where you get some banana in. Yeah. It's maybe like that. I'm getting mostly beef, but no other flavors mm. involved. It's a bit cereal. Oily, a bit oily, oily hay. Herby. And the finish, we've just written sweet ash, but it's a slightly woody ash. Woody ash. Overall, it's, it's white satin. 
We did taste Ardbeg 10 while we were away last week. And this is much more complex than Ardbeg 10. Yes. Though. I wonder if it's Ardbeg 10. <laughs> At least it's much more complex than my memory of Ardbeg 10, because I think there's more sweet flavours going on in there. I thought about that. The we got a B and nothing else. Well, don't say it, do it. I think that is pretty good. I'm gonna go here though. I think I'm probably here. Oh. I'm probably there. Wow, that's quite a mix then, isn't it? What does that add up to? That adds up to a silver, and this adds up to... So I think this is the lowest, if you look overall. We okay revealing mm. this one? It's time for some guesses. Oh dear, I need a guessbook. <laughs> it's so painful. I think we're in the sort of old Pulteney, urban something kind of no, area. Not to be open, more of open. But I mean, based on what we've tasted before, somewhere between old Pulteney and urban. Open, 14. Oh, somewhere in between. We got what back in the eight sea beat or sea flavor. I don't know sea flavor in it. Open fourteen. I remember having a note which was herbal shampoo. Mm, yes. <laughs> That's what I. I and the herbal, the, yeah. I was the open. Anyway, it's somewhere in that. A little bit of sherry, but it also is a bit salty. I don't know what bland. That's salty. According to our notes, it is salty, grassy oil. I don't know what blad knock tastes like. I wonder if it could be that. Mm -hmm. We also thought Craig Ellicky 13 in terms of what you were guessing. Do you think it's 46 ABV? Could be not, I'm getting peppery. So it could be 46. Are you going for that? Are you going for Craig mm, Ellicky? That could be a good guess. Could it? No idea what Craig Ellicky tastes like. I imagine it was going to be lighter than that. I'm at 43, age 15. I think that's worth about $75. I've given it 88. I mean, 89, you've given it 88. Old Pontney, it could be open 18. Oh, then I've got to change all my numbers. I don't know what it is. So I think I'm going to have to go blank. Although my numbers line up with Bladnock 15. Why not just guess that? 43 or 46. Here we go. <laughs> it is, have I got the right one? It is this, this one. Herbal watercolor. Herbal watercolor. Oh, we're straight into tape trouble. 40. 43. Hey, one for me. 43. Age, 18, 18, 18. It could be open for open 18. Could be, could be open 18. Price for an 18 year old 43, 119. Oh dear, we haven't scored it enough. And that means it needs to be scoring somewhere more like a 90, 91. Mm hmm. Highland. Mm, I think it's open 18. If it is, we weren't far off. We did name it. Oban. <laughs> so. I think it's our first ever. Oban 18. I think, nice. I think I have to give that to you then. Because you said, if not Old Pulteney, it's Oban. Yeah, I kept the Oban Oban. Let's do a quick, is it better than? <laughs> I have no idea what they are. No. Oh. I think it, that one's better. I like this more. Yeah. So we both think this one's better. I should prefer that one more. Mm. It's weak by comparison. It's weak. That is interesting. So they're both beating it. I don't fancy that one. I agree. It is better than this one, which is... Deanston 12. 
So <laughs> do, do much for me. I prefer open evening to distant spell. This one, Springbank Ten, we prefer it more. Nice. And Johnny Walker, also we prefer it more. Mm. So that means Oban 18 is above Deanston. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roy. No, hang on. Let's see. I've got to check under the table. Let's just... So Springbank 10. Suddenly we're liking this. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That is getting better, isn't it? And then when we come back to Oban... Mm. It's it's half the flat. Hang on, where did you just put that? Back. Okay. And you go to the open 18 now. It's half the experience, power power wise. And there. Mm. And as a nice upper flavor, that's too weak. But. I don't feel like putting this here, though. I'll probably be you. No. So rude. I mean, definitely after Springbank. Yes, but I feel like moving Springbank up. Yes. I brought Stranahan's up as well. I will put them in the same ever. I think it will add up at the at all. Yeah. Surprise. Can you remember Lysmore? Below Lysmore, Dalwini. Yeah, there was swap with that. Okay, I think you might be right. I think it's going to go in here. I'm so sorry, Roy. But that puts Deanston on the bubble. Hang on, which one's Deanston? I'd rather swap with that. That's what I'm saying. Head to head. Deanston versus Stranahan. I'm sorry, I did that button. Yeah. <laughs> Deanston 12 versus Stranahan for the exit. I, I don't like it at all. It's horrible. It's quite soapy now, isn't it? I wonder if that's changed over it's time. It's fine. Um, I, oh, yeah, I, I probably did more than I did it in that. So you're saying Deanston is... <laughs> yeah. Deanston is knocking out. That means that was shit. everything moves up for now. Oban and Deanston <laughs> survives another round. That spring bank is getting good though. Which is a good thing because we keep buying more spring bank and I think we are learning to like and it. And I'm happy about Spring Bank. It's good for us. We are now up to number. We're actually getting quite high in the numbers now. 28. 28. That seems so so. <laughs> A new adventure begins. Oh. Good work. Very difficult task. Performed well. Everybody yeah, movie. <laughs> 